In today's video, I'm showing off this basic character controller 2D that you can make using C++ and Godot. The way we use C++ in Godot is with Project Genova. And before we get into the code, the things you'll need to set up is go into your project settings, input map, and create an input for jump, move left, and move right. And then create a scene, make the base of the scene a character body 2D, give it a collision shape, and an animation sprite. And for my animations, I have a run animation, a jump animation, and an idle animation. So if we go into our code then, which is attached to the character body, we have three variables that we'll declare, speed, jump velocity, and our animation. Animation's a pointer to animation sprite, which we'll set later. And then these two, I set to 130 and negative 300, but they could be any value. Now in our onReady, we get a reference to this node, and then we use this node.findChild, and we call animation sprite 2D, and we set that as our animation. Then inside on physics process, we get this node, we get the velocity of this node, and then we get the singleton of input, and we store that as input. And then if this node is not on the floor, we will increase its velocity by gravity times delta. And then if input action just pressed is jumped, and we are on the floor, we add our jump velocity. So this handles all of the Y inputs. So this is for jumping and falling. And then for the X, put, X inputs, we have double direction, which we get an axis from move left and move right. And if our direction is greater than zero, we set horizontal flip to false. And if it's less than zero, we set it to true. And then for our animation player, if we are not on the floor, we'll play the jump animation. If our direction is zero, which means we're neither moving left nor right, we'll just idle. Otherwise, we'll play the run animation. Then at the end, we have this if direction basically doesn't equal zero, then we'll times velocity, or we'll set velocity and the x value of velocity equal to direction times speed. Otherwise, if the direction is zero, then we will do run this code here, which basically just, if the x value of velocity is greater than zero, we subtract speed until we hit zero. And if it is less than zero, then we add speed until we hit zero. So this is how we decelerate, and this is for accelerating. And then at the end, we set velocity back to vel. So we get it, we modify it, and then we reset vel, and then this node dot move and slide. So it's a very simple controller you can add to your Godot projects. This is a callback to my original Godot video, but I made this in GD script the first time, so I wanted to show how to make it in C++. And if you're interested in learning how to make a main menu for Godot using C++, you should click on this video or explain exactly that. And until next time, see ya.